Hi, I'm Steve Borey, author of the American Casino Guide. For the past 25 years, it's been the number one best-selling book about casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. Each month, we upload a new video about how casinos work and how you can win. So, if you want to learn how to be a better gambler, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget that we have a free app. Just search for American Casino Guide in the App Store or Google Play Store to download it to get details on all U.S. casinos, plus tips for playing and free casino coupons. In this video, American Casino Guide author Steve Borey travels to the 2016 Global Gaming Expo in Las Vegas, which is an annual event where manufacturers display all of their newest electronic gaming machines and table games. At the Expo, Steve speaks with Blaine Grayboys, CEO of GameCo, which is introducing the first skill-based video game gambling machines into U.S. casinos in late 2016. Hi, I'm here with Blaine Grayboys, who is the CEO of GameCo, which is a, a skill-based uh, gaming machine. Blaine, can you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and your company? Sure. As you mentioned, my name is Blaine Grayboys, the co-founder and CEO of GameCo. I've been making video games for about 25 years now and working in the esports industry. And this is our flagship product, the Video Game Gambling Machine, or VGM. It's like an arcade cabinet or slot machine, but it features a ruggedized game controller specifically built for the casino environment. And it allows gamers to play a video game in the casino and get a payout based on their skill. All right, now people have been talking about this for years, the introduction of skill-based gaming. Uh, it took a while to get it approved, and it took a while to get the regulations, and your company is the first one to be introducing this into the casinos. Is that correct? That is correct. We are launching the first video game gaming, gambling machines in Atlantic City with the Caesars properties in October. And interestingly, when I started, people were like, oh, that's 20 years away, but now two years later, we'll have machines on the floor before the end of 2016. And all right, this is great. So we got a little information on the background. So but before we head over to play the game itself, is this what it's going to look like in the casino? This is exactly what it'll look like in the casino. It's what we call a carousel. It has three individual VGM units. They're all single player games, so they're not connected, but like popular slot machines, it's a great configuration for the casino floor. We have a great sign that advertises the game filler with the characters, and one of the things that's really important to gamers is narrative, st story, and characters, and we've worked really hard to build that into our product and experience. Okay, well, looking forward to going over and playing uh, the game and trying it out. Let's play some video games. All right, Blaine, uh, when the customer first comes up to this machine, they're, they're, they're going to see the dis this display, and can you explain what the options are for them to uh, play this game? Sure, so the game works very similar to other electronic gaming machines. There's a bill validator and a ticket printer. I just printed out a ticket so we could take a look at it. The bottom screen is the game screen and the top screen shows the pay table. So if I put in a ticket, it's going to load up the value into the game and we can play. So I just loaded in the game. This is our bet menu where I can choose my bet amount, as I choose the bet amount, it updates on the screen, so it tells me what my payouts are. That we have a fixed pay table, so if I take out six or more bots, I'm in the money. Ten, I get 25 times my bet. So I'll go ahead and play a game for $10, hit play. The first time you play the game, there's a short introduction to our characters and story. Baz, Time, and Pepper. It tells you a little bit in a graphic novel format about how the game works and sets the player up so that they know how to play. You can skip it if you want, but it's fairly helpful so that you can get into the game quickly. Once we go through the tutorial, I can choose which character I want to play as, and then it loads what we call a level zero tutorial. The level zero does two really important things. It makes sure that the gamer knows how to use the controller, but it also makes sure that the controller is actually working. So in this uh, sense, it's doing a diagnostic where it's making sure in logging that the controller is working properly. After I go through the level zero, I'm now into the game. The game has over 10,000 maps in the game. Each one's loading auto randomly based on our patented math model that's at the core of the game. The way the gameplay works is I have 45 seconds to take out as many robots as possible. So I'm in a new map. 
and I'm trying to take out as many danger bots as possible. And I'm just about to luck out because I just got a power up. What that power up does is it gives me a shield that protects me from the robots, but it also gave me an instant $100 cash prize as well. So every time you kill a robot, it shows up on the score. Exactly. So as I engage and take out the robots, it updates on the score here. Once I get to five, six robots, I'm in the money. Ten robots for the highest payout. Now you say there are 10,000 screens. Are some harder or easier than others? So we don't really use the word harder or easier. We use the concept of achievability. So the, the maps fall into different levels of achievability in terms of how many bots I can eliminate. And then it's up to my skill to take out as many bots as possible. The analogy I like to use is blackjack. In blackjack, even the best player sometimes gets a bad hand. In this case, there are 10,000 maps that give the player different opportunities for the payout. I right, know, but if you're very skilled at this game... No matter, no matter what map you get, you will always have the ability to kill all 10, although some, some are harder than others. That's actually not the case. Different maps have different amounts of invulnerable or vulnerable robots, and it's up to my skill to get the highest payout. So a more skilled player is going to get the highest payout more often, but just like Blackjack, even the best player is sometimes going to get a map that they can't beat. Okay, so... Now, are, are they equally weighted within the 10,000, or, or, or is it uh, so it's just randomly, some, sometimes you may get uh, an easy one and sometimes you may get a hard one, the odds are equally the same? So they're not actually equally the same. Our math model that lives at the core of the game is built to deliver a specific return to player or RTP for the casino. That's both from a legal standpoint, but also from an engagement standpoint. Anyone in the casino industry will tell you it's the math in the game that makes a game engaging. So we've done a lot of work on that. We actually have a patent at the core of the product that describes how the math model works. So there's a different percentage chance that I'm going to get maps from different distributions. Okay, well, well that makes sense. But again, so the player can come here, they can bet anywhere, 50 cents, will it always... This is what it will actually be in the casino, 50 cents to $20? This is the denominations we're shipping in the first machines, but there's no limit to the denominations that we could support. So we certainly could have a $100 bet with a $2,500 payout, but these are the denominations that we have found to be the most successful in rolling out the game. Okay. And uh, this is going to be uh, placed in uh, Caesars Atlantic City, Harrah's, and Bally's. Correct, in, in uh, early October 2016. Correct. We're a couple weeks away from launching the first skill-based video game gambling machines in Atlantic City at all three Caesars properties. All right. Now, I assume that you also want to do this in other casinos throughout the United States. Do you have a timetable for how to uh, get the rollies out into other casinos? We do have a timetable, and our compliance officer and sales team manages that in terms of prioritizing different jurisdictions to work with our casino partners. We're currently uh, rolling out in New Jersey, some of the other states that are on our short list. Of course, Nevada, we're finishing up our application and we'll be applying to the Nevada Gaming Control Board in the next month or so. We've already submitted our application to Connecticut and starting to work on some other jurisdictions such as California, Florida, and Oklahoma. Eventually, we'll be in all legal gambling jurisdictions. All right, Blaine Grayboys, CEO of GameCo. Thank you very much for spending time with us today. Thank you very much for having me. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.